Holy Spirit, good morning. This video is covered in the blood. Yes, I want the Holy Spirit to guide us today. The just shall live by faith. I'm going to be in Isaiah chapter 40 today, everybody. About God says to comfort my people. He's comforting his people right now. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. That your angels ascend and descend. Your warring angels encamp about us. Camp about our doorposts, our doorsteps. I ask that you cover the minds, the spirits, the bodies, and souls of everyone who come to the channel. Father God, remove anything that's not of you, O oh God, to uproot it with your fire, fire, fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke every sinister plot, plan, scheme that wants to devise and demise our hurt. In the name of Jesus, who severs it. By fire, you say, submit to you, resist the devil, he must flee seven ways. Father God, we welcome your holy fire and your spirit. Breathe on us, O oh God. O oh, breath of heaven, breathe on us in the name of Jesus. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. Let your will be done. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. How are you all doing today? It's 8.35 a.m. where I'm at. Uh, God is blessing us and he's sending comfort. He's sending his spirit, his power to comfort us. He's given people the power that he gave David to take down that giant Goliath. See, because God fights for us. All right. He says, I will fight for you and you need only to be still. Okay. So, um, prayer, I'm praying that you all are having a blessed day. You will have a blessed day. Okay. We declare the decree that you will have a blessed day in the Lord. All right. Put them first. And everything you do, fall I get and get under wisdom, knowledge, revelation, understanding. We want to put them first, not last. Okay. So in Isaiah 41 through 31 it says, Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. That she has received from the Lord's hand double for her all her sins. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for all God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. Holy Spirit, the uneven ground shall be level, and the rough places a plain. That means a straightness. God is making your rough places straight. All right. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And he says in Exodus 19:4, You yourselves have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. And I've been having eagle wings in my spirit this morning, everybody. See, we flying on the wings of the Lord right now. <laughs> Some fly in airplanes. Eagles fly, but we are flying today on the wings of God. All right. The Father in heaven and His Son. Yes, 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 yes. The Lord says in Isaiah 40, 28, 31, Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. Yes, you are. The creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and to him who has no might. He increases strength. Our strength comes from God, everyone. Even youths shall faint. The youths shall faint and be weary. And young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Our strength comes from God. 
God take on our weariness. He takes on your frustration. He takes on your pain, your emptiness, your struggles. He says, be still and know that I am God to lay it down at his feet. The flowers grow each and every day. How you see the flowers grow. But if the flowers does not receive waters, the flowers will not live, right? Okay. The Lord has to water our seeds so that our seeds can grow, so that our seeds can blossom, okay? Without oxygen, we cannot breathe. We have to have oxygen to live. We have to have water to live. Okay? We can't live on nothing. So God is our water. He is our oxygen. Everything we need, He is. Alright? Let's understand that. Everything we need, God is. Because He is everything. He is our Creator, our Messiah, our Deliverer, our Redeemer, our Healer, the Anointed One, the Chosen One, the Alpha and Omega, who was and is to come who rose on the third day. Okay. He delivers us from evil, delivers us from demons, delivers us from sickness, diseases, and illnesses, delivers us from mental illness, distresses our health. He gives us health for our bodies and spiritual souls and wealth to live in this world. God is everything. He's blowing the trumpets in Zion. See, the earth is going to... Uh, 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 the things in this earth will, will fade. All right? But God remains the same. His power and His strength is everlasting, everybody. He says in Isaiah 40, verse 9, O Zion, that bring us good tidings, get thee up into the high mountains. O Jerusalem, that bring us good tidings, Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid, said unto the cities of Judah. Behold your God. See, that's what God, God was telling me. He's bringing us tidings of comfort and joy. Uh, recently, he was telling me that we, we are receiving the, the tidings of him. The tidings of joy and comfort. So these are the times right now that even all of the earth are sinister things going on uh, with deceit and deception in the world. Because the world know him not. God is giving us his tidings. Alright. Which is his gifts. He's giving us his gifts and his miracles. His blessings are pouring out right now. He says in verse 10. The book of Isaiah 40. Behold the Lord God will come with strong hand. And his arm shall rule for him. See God is ruling for you. When you think you can't make it. You can because he pulls us through. God is pulling us. He is pulling us. Just like when you was a child and you would get on a seesaw. Alright. God is balancing. He's balancing that seesaw for you right now. God is balancing things, everybody. He's making those crooked planes, those rocky planes straight. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand. And his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. See, God is giving us our rewards. See, in heaven, the rewards is passed down through the Son of God to give to us. All right? And the angels go about passing out the rewards that God wants us to have. All right? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, the prophetic things of God. 
See, God, the things that you don't see, God is already working on your behalf. You can't see it yet, but God is, is going to manifest in your life. It's going to manifest in the natural. The spiritual things God has already allotted for you. It is going to manifest. God pushes it out. He pushes things out. It's already there, spiritual in the spirit. It has to manifest itself down to the natural for you. All right. So hold on. Help is on the way. You're about to receive your tidings. See, this is the, 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 the anointing and the voice of God, the strength of God, and the power of God. It's what sustain us to keep moving, to keep toiling, to keep going on. All right? To, to put your best foot forward. Because it's already being handed out in the spirit realm. But it has to manifest in the natural. So God is preparing you. He says to prepare the way, Holy Spirit. He make a way in the wilderness. He says prepare the highway for, for you. Our God is preparing the highway for you. All right? To walk up that ladder to God. It's already happening. You might can see it prophetically. God has his instructions. He instruct Jesus and his angels to bring you tidings of comfort and joy to manifest. It's his manifestation and his impartation. See, when you see people fall out from the spirit and the glory of God, it's the manifestation of his power and his strength. I was praying uh, before one time, and I was praying for the impartation, the flow of God, and I could see in the spirit people were just falling out with the Holy Ghost fire power over them. In my prayers, I could see them. The manifestation was falling on them while I was praying, all right? And they probably were people I didn't even know. But this is how powerful your prayers are, everybody. See, God hears your prayers. We, the, the, the secret things God reveals. He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. His reward is with him and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd because we are his sheep. He is our shepherd. He's our leader. He's our Messiah, our healer, our deliverer. He shall gather the lambs with his arm. We are the lambs of God. And carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with the young. See, God is leading us. Like a father and his children, God is leading us. We are his children. Whom have measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and meted out heaven with the span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains and scales and the hills in a balance? See, God is balancing out your life right now. That's where he truly is. The crooked things are no longer going to be crooked. The things you see in the Egypt will no longer you see. They shall be gone. God is doing new things. He's doing new beginnings, new blessings in your life. So he's balancing those rocky mountains, those rocky things. He's making it a smooth plane in your life. He's preparing a highway so you can get on the other side with him. So he's bringing you out of craziness into your blessings, all right? He's bringing those high places down. Who have directed the spirit of the Lord or being his counsel have taught him? With whom took he counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment and taught him knowledge? 
and showed to him the way of understanding. All right. See, God is placing the wisdom, knowledge, revelation, and understanding in his children right now. He's an all-powerful God, all-knowing God, omnipresent, omniscient. All right. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. See, each and every nation is just like a, a, a drop in the bucket, everybody. He's counting it as the balance. See, it might be hard for us sometimes to overcome some things, but we can overcome with Him. See, God can overcome. Um, when we think things is impossible, it's possible through God. All right? It says, Behold, the nations are a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing, a fine, and he lifted it up. Those heavy things, just think to yourself carrying a heavy weight. And the weight is too heavy for you. Say you lift up some barbells and it's a 600 pound barbell and you can't, you don't have that kind of strength to lift it. God is lifting that up, right? He's taking it from you and he's lifting it up. All right. So he's lifting that weight up from over, off of you. All right. So that you can feel light as a feather. Okay. So God is giving us the tidings of joy. See the grass withers and fade away, but the word of God lasts forever. His word does not fade away. God does not fade away. God's word remains alive and living. His word shall not uh, perish. God's word is everlasting. He's an everlasting God. People may come and go in your life. Uh, relationships. Uh, uh, just in, in regular life. Uh, people may, may come and go in your life. Everybody. But just in, in regular uh, relationships. God is, is just worthy to be praised. Um, God does not go. When you see God. And you ask for God in your life. He's, he's not gone away. People come and go in your life, but God remains the same forever. All right? Um, best uh, People go, could be your friend today and gone tomorrow, but God is always your friend. God is always your healer. He's always your deliverer. He's always your blessed hope. God is always your Messiah. So... God dwells in us, everybody. He judges the wicked. The wicked that's plotting schemes against you, that's making false praise against you. God judges them when they're not repenting. <coughs> Excuse me. God is everything. I want you to pursue him. To Seek him with your whole hearts each and every day. Not sometimes, but all of the times. Read your word, not sometimes, but all of the times. Get into your Bibles and read your scripture. You have Bible apps if you don't want to read a paper Bible. I read both, the apps and the paper Bible. I love my paper Bible. The words jump off the page when I'm reading the Bible. Um... He instructs us. He teaches us. He governs us. He's the higher authority, the Father in heaven. Okay? So that's what it is. He passes his instructions down to the Son of God, to the angels to give out to us. They're already written out in the heavens, everybody. <laughs> he is so awesome. I just love him. I love you, Lord. He says to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Your instructions are already written out. 
your rewards are already there to manifest in the natural, okay? Father God, we just thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Let this be a word for someone to encourage them, oh God, that their rewards are going to manifest in Jesus' name in the natural. Father God, touch the atheists, agnostics, the lukewarm, and those that's on fire for you to remain. Let us remain on fire for you in Jesus' name. Cover us through the blood, oh God. Our territories, our homes, our children, our families, our loved ones, friends, neighbors, relatives, communities, governments. Father God, our nations, we lift you up. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We reverence you, oh God, in Jesus' name. Could you do me a favor and hit the like button and bell to subscribe so you won't miss a video. Um, I love you all. I'm, I'm, I'm really thanking God that the ministry is growing. Uh, we just seek Him, God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise some all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I want you all to be blessed, to love the Lord and love your neighbor as thyself. We boot the enemy in his plans. Um, you're going to have a blessed day, okay? I declare that I create the blessings of Abraham on your life today and now and forevermore. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye. See you later.